Activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to occur. So it's usually written like this, E for energy, and a small a for activation. So this energy comes from our understanding of collision theory. So as molecules are f floating around, they collide with each other, and when they collide with each other, ac reactions can occur. So rearranging of molecules can occur based on collision theory. So we understand that colliding molecules must have the same, must have a total kinetic energy that is equal to or greater than the activation energy for something to happen. So we usually represent this using a graph to represent a reaction. So this is the reaction progress. So as the reaction progresses, and this is going to be the potential energy here, potential energy. So we know that some reactions based on what's going on with the reactants, let's say this is the reactants, this is this potential energy that this reaction has. But to achieve an actual reaction, we draw the graph like this. So in a reaction like this, where energy is released, which we call an exothermic reaction, an exothermic reaction, the activation energy is this. Ea is this. The energy that's required from what it has as potential to get here for the reaction to happen and then releasing energy. So that's the activation energy for this reaction. So whatever A plus B, which are the reactants, are going to produce products here. And the products have a lower potential energy than activation energy. And we can also do this for endothermic reactions, reactions that must, that actually take in energy. So this is the potential energy that it has. And so the products actually have more potential energy than the reactants here. So the reactants take the reactants take in take in heat. So E A is much bigger here because it has to get gain energy for this reaction to happen and then when it happens it's left with more energy than it had at the beginning. So activation energy is very important to understand because we need to understand that when molecules combine and when they hit each other, this affects the rate of reactions and also whether reaction will occur.